Hey there! Welcome to Power Process Electrical Engineering Tech. Today we will know how work PLC Ethernet connection. First, make sure you subscribe and like the video. PLC Ethernet connections enable communication between a programmable logic controller, PLC, and other devices, such as human machine interfaces, HMIs, supervisory control and data acquisition, SCADA, systems, remote I.O. modules, and other PLCs. Ethernet communication offers higher speeds and greater data capacity compared to traditional serial communication methods, making it well-suited for modern industrial automation and control systems. Here's how PLC Ethernet connections typically work. Ethernet Interface PLCs designed for Ethernet communication have an Ethernet interface, usually an Ethernet port or RJ45 connector. This interface allows the PLC to connect to an Ethernet network. IP Address Assignment Each device on an Ethernet network requires a unique IP, Internet Protocol, address. The PLC must be assigned an IP address, either manually, static IP, or automatically through DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. The IP address identifies the PLC's location on the network. Ethernet Protocols PLCs communicate over Ethernet using various industrial Ethernet protocols, such as Modbus TCP IP, Ethernet slash IP, Profinet, or Modbus UDP slash IP, among others. The PLC and connected devices must support the same protocol to exchange data seamlessly. Data Exchange PLCs can exchange data with other devices on the Ethernet network. This data exchange can include reading and writing data, input and output values, between PLCs, sending status information to HMIs or SCADA systems, or receiving control commands from higher-level systems. Ethernet Communication Functions PLC programming software typically includes functions or instructions that facilitate Ethernet communication. These functions allow the PLC program to send and receive data packets over the Ethernet network. Ethernet switches and routers. In larger automation systems, Ethernet switches and routers may be used to manage communication between multiple devices on the network. Switches enable communication between devices on the same network, while routers allow communication between devices on different networks. Redundancy. In critical applications, redundant Ethernet connections may be employed to ensure high availability and fault tolerance. Redundancy protocols like Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol RSTP, or Media Redundancy Protocol MRP, help to maintain continuous communication even if a network component fails. Security. Ethernet communication in industrial environments requires attention to security. Measures like firewalls, virtual LANs, VLANs, or virtual private networks VPNs, may be used to protect the network from unauthorized access and cyber threats. PLC Ethernet connections have become standard in modern industrial automation due to their speed, reliability, and ability to handle large amounts of data. Ethernet communication allows for seamless integration of various devices and systems, enabling efficient control and monitoring of complex processes in industrial settings. Thanks for watching.